Well, what's going on guys? It's Brain again, and today I'm bringing you a new video, and I was requested to do some Verdun gameplay by Reed Templeton. And I have to say, I've been really itching to get back into this game. It's been a while since I played this game. I remember the last time I played it was in 2014, and the wait was really well worth it with the amount of content that they added into the game. Now, I was originally going to upload this video yesterday, but I didn't know how the unlock system and the progression system worked in the game, so I was just continually using my bolt-action rifles until I figured out that there was career points that you can spend and there's a career unlock system throughout the game. And I found that this is a very challenging game to play. You always gotta make your first shot count in the trenches, whatever gun it may be. Just because you're using a sidearm doesn't mean that you're gonna beat a bolt-action rifle in a gunfight. You always gotta make sure that your first shot connects or else you're in big trouble. When I first started playing this game again yesterday, I was running into a lot of problems. I was dying constantly and I didn't know what to do. So basically what I was doing to fix this was I was carrying over my strategies from Red Orchestra 2 and implementing them in this game. I find that this game is very, very comparable to Red Orchestra 2. So what I started to do was I started to make sure that I don't push a class beyond its ability. For instance, right here I'm playing the machine gunner class. I'm not pushing up with the machine gunner. What I'm doing is I'm staying back and I'm laying down fire for my squad. What I see people doing is I see them running through no man's land with the machine gun just hip firing them. That's not the most effective use for the machine gun. Just sit back, lay down suppressing fire, and make sure you're not in a very good line of sight for the enemies, but you're still able to cause a lot of suppressing fire. Another factor that you need to take into consideration and be vigilant of is the squad type that you're playing with. For instance, right here I'm playing with the Tommies and they have a different machine gun than the other factions such as the Alpen Jaegers or something like that. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but just bear with me if I didn't. So just make sure that you're playing these classes their best ability and you're not pushing them beyond what they're meant to do. If you end up pushing them beyond what they're meant to do, then that's going to lead you to some trouble and you're going to end up dying frequently like I was in the very beginning. But once you get the hang of them and you start understanding what the classes are used for, then you will become more deadly with these classes since you understand how to use them. So let's go ahead and move on to a marksman style class. Now when I was using the marksman class, the biggest thing that comes to mind when implementing this class in the battlefield is patience because your scope on this weapon is your biggest ally in battle however it can also strongly work against you you play any sniper rifle with a scope on it like a sniper would and you sit back and you just shoot anybody that you can see on the edge of the trenches or any machine gun emplacement that you can see i highly recommend when using this class you use it to the best ability to hunt down machine guns or anything that's laying down heavy suppressing fire i mean sure if you see an enemy then shoot him but if he's got a machine gun you make sure you make that top priority over a bolt action rifle Another incredibly important factor about this class is staying concealed. Use the terrain to your advantage. Don't stand up and run around with this class. I saw many snipers on the battlefield in this game trying to run around with their sniper rifle and they continuously died. Meanwhile, I was sitting back with the rifle, laying down fire, and taking out machine guns. So unless you're somehow incredibly good at quickscoping on this game, then I commend you for that. You can go ahead and run around. But if you're a sniper, I just recommend that you stay back and you lay down your fire in that fashion or something along those lines. But like I said, patience is your biggest enemy when using this class. So just make sure when you are using the sniper rifle that you're not pushing it beyond what it can do. You just sit back and you watch vigilantly for your enemies and you pick your targets in a smart fashion. You don't want to alert everybody where you are. I learned that firsthand. I was just going ahead and sitting down in a bush. And the second one of my friendlies came up with a machine gun started laying down fire right next to me. We both became prime targets and we both got taken out. So just make sure that you pick your spot smart and you're somewhere where you can't be seen. That way you can pick off enemies at different times and you aren't drawing too much attention to yourself. But anyway guys, I think that pretty much sums up this video. I will be making more videos over Verdun in the future. And I think what these videos will mainly be focusing on is weapon tactics videos. That way you guys can understand how to use these weapons efficiently under different circumstances. And if there's anything that you guys want to see in my next Verdun video or any video in general, then please leave it down below in the comments. And I will get back to you as soon as possible because I really want to get back into the swing of things of taking recommended videos like I did originally on my first videos. I kind of strayed away from that. I don't know what I did, but I really want to start taking recommended videos again. If you guys want to see tactics videos or War Thunder Red Orchestra 2 or Verdun, then please let me know. Also, if you guys want to see any history videos or any history lesson videos, stuff like that that I used to, then please let me know down below in the comments and I will get a video made for that. 
But anyway, guys, again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then please leave them down in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But again, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Brandon, and as always, have a nice day.